All right, welcome back. Uh, this is episode five, six, episode six, there we go, of um, my Let's Play. And since my plan right here has been knocked off, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, no, I do know what I'm going to do. It's going to be a sick maneuver. I am going to build my settler, and then I'm going to build, where is it? My galley. And I'll put my settler in the galley and place him right there. Or here. I haven't decided yet. Anyway. I'm gonna see which um, civilizations I can trade with, because trading at this point would be pretty good, and since most of them probably can share world maps, I would love to do that. Like, trade with people and junk. I hate it when small cities are unhappy because I really would prefer that everyone is working. Who can I connect? I cannot trade with anyone. This is great. No, this is a problem. <laughs> um, I also am unconnected to these cities, but I've got plenty of that stuff, which is good. The faster I can get gunpowder, the faster I can um start working on getting some. I would really love it if I had gunpowder in my territory, but since my luck never seems to happen like that, it will probably be like here, and then I'll have to like make a mad dash before Babylon does something like that. Uh, yeah, let's go talk with my good friends, the Babylonians. I would love to get an alliance with them. Okay, since no one really seems to hate me, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm, I'm destroying them in technology, but all I seem to have, all this, I think they'll be in the next stage with me soon. Um, I think I'm gonna get them to agree to a rite of passage, because that would be pretty sweet. And, um, eh, can we trade? We can't trade, so there's no point in us, like, making that kind of agreement. And I don't, I'm not up for a military alliance, so, um, I'll just talk to them later. Joan of Arc seems okay. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Joan of Arc. I'll switch it out. Aztecs don't seem to hate me. India doesn't seem to hate me. China doesn't seem to hate me. Sweet, so no one hates me, which is always a good thing. And I've come in contact with all these civilizations, which means that there are probably very few in areas that I haven't met yet. Which is either very good or very bad. Um, France is an expansionist nation, I want to say, so that makes sense why they're being all like... Have settlers every other step and so. Oh wait, no! You're supposed to be working on the galley. Ah, oh. uh, now I'm gonna get a headache. Gal, eh? No, my plan's been wrecked. No, no. All right, now I gotta find something else for him to do. Uh, actually, this is a great idea. I will have him. Go to Thessalonica, which is rebelling right now. Um, fortify him. Probably not the best idea putting a sea right next to France and then not having a warrior on it. Not my best idea. Yeah, you can go be a happy laborer. I swear to God, I'm gonna own you. So I wonder if France owns England right now, or if England's even in the game. English. Interesting. Wow, I cannot speak English today. This is wonderful. Maybe I should start speaking Spanish. Hola! Not to be racist or anything. Um, I am. I am very small. A, um, Hispanic nation. I'm not gonna tell you which one, but I have, um, a little bit of Latin American blood in me, so. For those of you who are gonna, like, hate on me, don't hate on me because of that. Because I do have some Spanish. Not Spanish, but like Spanish speaking blood in me. So, going working on the marketplace there. <sighs> Universities, astronomy is done. Basically, Basacla. 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 Basakla? Hmm. 
It's an interesting way of saying it. <laughs> uh, I'll just put him right there. Actually, that's probably a bad idea. Yeah, bad idea. This alone goes so far out of everything else that I own. It's a little pathetic. Uh, yes, astronomy is finished. Then I can work on feudalism, invention. Basically, I have to get to physics, I think. Yeah, uh, I have to get to magnetism. Then once I'm done with magnetism, I can finish up with theory of gravity, banking, and metal metallurgy. Yes. I said that right, right? Alright. Normally I work on democracy once I get into the, um, after I've gone flight. But, you know, I might actually stay at depositism the entire time. Because, um, the faster that I can get to, um, flight, the faster I can win this game. And for that matter, I can get to the space race. When you think about it, it's not that long ways away from me anymore. I mean, it's pretty far away, but, like, not as far as it was a couple turns ago. Let's see if I can switch my shields to, um, Copernicus's observatory. It'll only take ten turns, so it might be worth it to, um, hold off on using Plateau, who is still... In my city of Athens, teaching young minds. Although he probably died like a couple hundred years ago now. Uh, you know, it's funny because um, they all have the. Um, they don't have Democritus in this, I'm pretty sure. I, I, all the times I've played as Greece, I've never seen Democritus. But um, Democritus. Uh, Aristotle thought that the model that the uh, that um all things of matter were made out of fire, wind, earth, and air, like the four like major elements, even though they're not really elements. Um, and I think Plato agreed with that. Uh, what? No, I don't like monarchy. Never liked monarchy. No, why does everyone want to give me monarchy for, um, currency? It just doesn't make sense. I'm in feudalism now. Like, really? No point, man. No freaking point. Don't bother me with that terrible offer. You're, you're giving me something that's unnecessary for something that's necessary. It, it's just such a bad trade. Like, no one in their right mind would actually do that. Too bad no one plays this game anymore. <laughs> yep, we'll start working. Okay, gunpowder. The faster we get there, the happier I am. Uh, I normally don't like feudalism, but I will do some research on it really fast. I am a feudal king, depending on my vassal lords for support and bound to their respect their wishes. Corruption among the lords is a continual problem. I do not like corruption. Corruption is a pain in the butt. Vassals are continually where... They don't like warfare, and so war weariness, production problems are not associated with depositism, maintenance cost is three instead of one. It's forced labor, rampant, non, two, two, four, four, four. Yeah. No, let's just do it. I don't really care. And since I'm not giving a crap about money, it's not really going to give a crap. Um... This is going to take, like, four turns to end, or something like that. So, um... Actually, this could go a lot... Since only two cities are revolting, um... I've gotten really pissed off about this. This might not be that bad, actually. I, uh, this is good. This is actually pretty good. No one's that annoyed. Uh, Copernicus's observatory is going to take a little more time, of course, but that's something that was expected. Oh, and we're coming near the time limit. So, um, this was another great episode. Hope you guys turn in next time for a, um, another fabulous episode of Sonic Boom 112 Let's Play Civilization 3 Complete Edition. And next time, we will be in feudalism and hopefully get gunpowder. Peace out.